Hey, good evening, everyone. Um, we are delighted tonight to welcome Lin Tian Miao, who is one of China's most famous artists, uh, and writer Barbara Pollock, one of America's leading experts on Chinese contemporary art, for a conversation about Lin's work and the changing art scene in China. In recent years, Lin has continued to create monumental installations, and she's exploring such deep subjects as gender, loss, technology, and humanity. So before we start our conversation, let's bring Barbara in. Um, I'd love to bring Barbara Pollock, who's auth and the author of Brand New Art in China, to talk a little bit about Lynn's work. And then we'll bring Lynn in and we'll, uh, um, we'll start looking at her work. But Barbara, let's, let's tell us a little bit about what interests you about Lin Tian Miao's work and why you think it's important. Well, there's a number of reasons to be interested in Lin Tian Miao's work. One is um, she was the first female artist to emerge in China on the level of the boys club. Zhang Zhaogang, Fang Lijun, all of those guys were emerging. And at the time, she was the one art, female artist allowed to show with that group. And it's because of the power of the work. And what's very interesting to see is how um, she, one thing that's been a thread throughout her work is the meticulousness with which it's made and the reliance on craft, uh, which at the beginning had her be interpreted by Western curators and indeed curators in China as feminist work but this was probably a miscategorization. From the beginning, Tin Mao was really interested in identity, not just female identity, but how we form our own identity. What are the things we use to reinforce some notion of identity? And, um, and now she's expanded that to mass consciousness how we relate to mass consciousness. But this theme of identity has run through it the whole time. So while the boys were concentrating on Chinese identity, she was actually starting off much further along on what's a very contemporary issue, which is a kind of transcendental identity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. That's such a great opener. And so Lin Tian Miao, let's bring you into the conversation. I'm gonna actually jump in with the first question because I'm really curious. At the beginning, back when Barbara was describing you, you know, entering the art world in a big way, and she said it was, it was a boys club, basically, the famous boys, right? So what was that like? entering as a woman, a powerful woman artist, what did it feel like trying to break into that boys club? And then I'll hand it over to Barbara and we'll look at your work. But, uh, but I just am really curious about that. Uh, 这个圈子里面其实它的这个男女性别的这个歧视还是非常严重的我一开始其实并没意识到这个东西在二十多年前我并没意识到这个我现在越来越就是说在中国的不断发生的这种回顾性的大展当中比如说是总结二十年或者总
歧视是非常严重的。嗯。So in terms of you know an exhibition, the way it's presented, the way it's talked about, um, you know, the discourse, uh, yeah, gender discrimination towards women is very bad. Let's look at the work. Let's look at the work, shall we? Okay, over to you, Barbara. Okay, this is an early work. One of her first pieces called "The Pro Proliferation of Threadwinding," and I'll have Tin Mao talk about it in a、uh, minute. But I just want to explain that this idea of unraveling one kind of fabric and then rolling the thread so you could use it for weaving a new fabric is a craft that Chinese women have practiced for many years. But really. Tin Mao grew up doing that with her mother, turning used garments into new garments, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so she brings this personal history to the idea of thread waxing. And what you see here is in the center of that bed is about twenty thousand needles pointing up. And threaded to each needle is a piece of thread spooling out onto the floor with tiny little balls of round thread at the ends of them. And at the top, of you see a video again of her spooling the thread with her own hands. So, Tin Mao, when you made this.、Um, Was this about female identity and domestic crafts, or was it about something else? Uh, actually, in the time when I was doing it, I didn't have a awareness that it was a female awareness. I didn't have a strong awareness of it. 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 呃，在这二十多年当中，这个这个、方向是是被逐渐清晰的。嗯嗯嗯、呃，当时呃，我觉得就是说，就是选择这些材料，我认为是非常自然。对我来说，自自我自己的这个经历来讲，是非常自然，非常呃，非常就是说，嗯嗯、呃、嗯，不是被一个什么主义，或者是被一个什么特别的一个性别，或者是来驱使的。Uh, so in this work, when、uh, when she was making it, she didn't, she didn't have a concept or、um, an awareness of female identity at the time, and it wasn't really about resistance or you know counter to anything.、Um, it, it wasn't that clear at the time, but within the past twenty years,、um, sort of this perspective has become more clear in retrospect. Um, but she's saying how like thread and weaving, it's it was a natural thing for her.、Um, yeah. Hmm. 我我我觉得就是说这个呃呃这个女红的这个这个这个这个呃制作状态哈，实际上我觉得可能是一个女人在逃离呃一个逃离或者是暂停或者是一个休整呃或者是一个嗯。呃，或者一个治愈的一个过程，就是她整个这个女红的，就是我们传统女红的这种状态，呃，是这么一个状态。她可能是治疗压压力，外界对立，无论是男权的这个社会也好，她可能是治疗的这么一个状态。嗯嗯，这个状态就是说，我觉得是是比较重要的。嗯、呃，是是这个，其实如果你你没有那个。呃，亲身经历你不会理解那个状态，所以在我的这个呃呃经历当中，还有还存在这些状态，还存在这种可能性。可是现在的这种社会的结构，可能这女性的这些东西，她需要呃呃作为一个和男性一样的一个一个一个一个一个工作状态，她没有这个治愈的这个条件了，已经消失了。OK。Uh, so the she's talking about the female seamstress. So for the female seamstress,、um, doing this kind of, you know,、uh, domestic work is、uh, could be seen as a way of escaping, of suspending,、uh, or even healing. 
Um, so healing and uh, understanding healing as a sort of, you know, um, healing from stress or from patriarchy, um, repression. Um, and so the state of healing is very important. And um, for those who didn't experience it themselves, they wouldn't be able to understand. Um, uh, but so this is kind of uh, traditionally how it's been, but in contemporary society, if um, women are doing the same kind of work that men are doing, um, it's sort of uh, this, this healing uh, process where source of healing is disappearing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to the next image mm -hmm. because this also uses the threading and making little balls out of thread attached to a photograph, which is a self-portrait of Tim Mao with her uh, head shaved is so that she looks like, and it's blurry. And she did a whole series of these using 17 self-portraits or friends or her family members, always presented in this very androgynous look, very blurred identity look with the thread adding another layer of obscurity to the image. Um, Tin Mao, when you were making the Focus series, which mm. you did for several years, what mm. kind of, were you exploring identity? What kind of identity were you trying to um, put forth? 首先我要讲的就是在我成长的比如说我在有记忆一直到我高中毕业实际上这是 又熟悉，它也有政治上的嗯非常有强有力的这个呃嗯这个压迫感在这儿，它它给你带来的是一种一种距离感，它它给你一种陌生感，或者是一种嗯无奈，你你它充斥在你的所有的生活的这个这个当
，然后再把他这个呃呃一直压缩到一个个人经验。我觉得这两个经验当中，呃，它有一个联系，这个联系就是非常是是是我这个时代，呃，体现出来，它是一个非常可靠的、非常有那个真实的感受的这么一件，呃，也一系列的作品。So she's saying when you, you know, when you condense、uh, collective experience into individual experience, um, you know, the the kind of connections between the two. Is、uh, very particular to her time period, the, that era. I'm going to jump in for a second just to say, for each of these images, let's take like a total of four minutes or so. Okay, a lot to get through, but this is perfect. I also wanted to tell the audience that because this is all so interesting, we have so much to get through. We want to extend this to we're going to you know take this till nine fifteen,、uh, hoping that we'll have some time for questions at the end. But just. I'm conscious of time, so I'll keep jumping in occasionally if we need to keep moving along. But we're good. All right. All right. And then this mother's, which I think I originally saw at Walmart space, but then it was at Asia Society in New York when she had a retrospective there.、Mm -hmm. And this was such a. I found it disturbing and fascinating at the same time. There are. Images of women, images of babies, based on casts of her own body, and and she hasn't given up the thread winding yet, because all of the forms are covered in silk thread.、Mm -hmm. um, do we have one more image or not? Yes. This, yes. So as you can see in this. You can see some of her influences from the 1990s artists like Kiki, Kiki Smith, or、um, Louise Louise Bourgeois. Sorry, of course I'll get hiccups in the middle of this.、Um, <laughs> what was interesting was that when it was shown in New York, people found it very frightening and dystopian,、um, which. You have to imagine walking into the space and having all of these sculptures and forms surrounding you from the ceiling, and you know, not on pedestals but on the floor, scattered out, very much like disemboweled bodies. But I've never discussed mothers with Tin Mao. I was wondering, Tin Mao, what inspired you to make this? Was it your experience as a mother? 其实你呃，如果如果要是对比，就是我前一段就是呃呃，刚才前两件作品的时候，你看这个时间的往往后的推移，就是说呃，从就是说呃，一九九五年一直到这个两千零两千年的左右，这段时间里头差不多有五年到嗯十年的时间，其实我的这个女性身份是慢慢慢慢被提醒，或者被强调，或者被直接给指出来的。嗯，那我就肯定是，就是说，呃，不不仅仅是，就是说，很多很多像研究者，或者是呃评论家，或者是策展人，他不断的在强调你，或者是可以说是他不断的迫使你到那个角角落去思考，呃呃，这个这个思考一开始我觉得是是正面的，呃，一开始就是说对对于我来说是一个建设性的，嗯，到了呃呃现在这个阶段，我觉得是是是是是阻挠性的。就说他是他是被动性的了，啊、呃，那我就肯定是在这个阶段里头，就比如在两千零八年或者两千年左右的时候，我就肯定是呃不断在思考自己的状态，那就肯定是呃也这个很惯性的就被被被 push 到那个角落去，用你自己的身体语言和用你自己的去状态去呃呃去了解。呃，这个整个这个社会，这个文化的社会，或者是你自己的处境，到底是什么样的一个状态 ？Thank you. Okay. Um, Bunny. Yes. Um, so you can see that um, this work um, when compared to, when compared to previous works, um, you know, it's been a period of you know five to ten years from 1995 to the 2000s. Um, uh, her female identity was. Uh, very directly pointed out and kind of、uh, placed onto her.、Um, many critics, curators, and researchers constantly push for that.
Um, so well, she initially thought that it was constructive, but now it's becoming um, kind of a barrier to her growth. Um, but at the time, she was naturally kind of um, categorized as such. And so she kind of accepted it and, um, and tried to understand society and social constructs and everything through her own bodily language. Yeah. Mm. 呃，首先呢，就是说，刚才那个 Barbara 他他谈到，就是说，就是说，呃，我所有的雕塑可能是没有脑袋，或者是没有那什么。我觉得就是说，当一个雕塑，或者是当一个东西，如果如果有一个人的形象的时候，他必然是有一种表情，或者必然有一种，就是必然有一个特别个体的一个一个呃一个状态在。呃，我我强调的既是我自己的个体，也是整个这个女性群群体的这么一个状态。所以我把这个呃嗯把这个头的这个这个状态就是去抹去了，抹去了以后呢，它更具备着一种呃广大的这种这个呃广阔性，或者是更具备它整个群体的这么一个一个状态，嗯，这是这是当时的一个想法，嗯。Yeah, as Barbara as Barbara have com has commented, um, the sculptures are that many of them don't have heads. Um, so when it comes to human forms, you know, the human, the facial expression, the face makes it individualistic. Um, and so uh, uh, in this work, her emphasis was not, was not only on her own, her own body, but also kind of a collective um, female body and consciousness. And so by taking the head away, um, she's trying to make um, this more uh, universal. 嗯，然后同时呢，就是说我希望就是人在呃进入我的这个，嗯，就是我制造的这个空间里头，有一种内腔的感觉，有一种回回望自己，或者是嗯、呃，好像你进入了你自己的一个世界，进入内腔，进入你的内部空间的一个感觉，所以就制造了样那样的一个斜形或者是一个圆形的一个空间，在这个空间里头，你在在逐步的呃发现。Right, so um, in the environment that she was producing, she wanted um, visitors to kind of uh, retreat into a more introspective internal space. Um, and so therefore, yeah, because of that, she made um, like the space is spherical and it kind of is set up in a way to, in, to induce that introspective state. 嗯，而且他在这个整个的这个这个作作品在整个的什么，他的名字就是 Mother， 然后问号，他的呃，像我们在在中国骂人，从是你妈的，从来不是你爸爸的，所以这个这个这个一个典型性的一个性别的一个歧视，就在这个时候，就是嗯、呃，就我就非常明确的在在表达出来了，嗯 ，Yeah， 嗯、um... ，And then we're gonna move on to the next slide. So yeah, just quickly, the um in Chinese the the um swear word um mada like you know your mother, uh you know clearly has gender discrimin has you know discriminatory tones because these insults are never directed at um men. It's always directed at mothers. So she wanted to make that clear. That's a perfect segue into the next piece, which was protruding patterns, um. I saw it at Gallery Le Long in New York, who represents Lindsay Mao's work. And literally, the carpet filled every bit of the floor of the gallery. You could not avoid walking on the carpet if you wanted to see the work. And on these carpets from Western China, Lindsay Mao has embroidered on them three dimensional. Rather high letters in English and Chinese, which are all slur words about women. So you know, um, I immediately go to "chick" is one here. I immediately go to the American ones, but apparently the Chinese ones are pretty lewd also. But the interesting thing about this piece is that you have to interact with it. Because you either have to tiptoe around the letters, or you're going to trip on the letters, and it's very, you know, it's very interesting because it's like how these words trip us up in when we use them in language. So, Timao, this was a shift for you. 
嗯嗯 ，to make these carpets. But why don't you talk about that? 呃、uh, ，首先就是寻找这些词汇，我大概用了五年到六年的时间。当时在这个网络语言和网络小说和网络流行文化里头是非常难找到了，现在是非常容易找到了。在那个两千年初期的时候，或者是一九九九九九九几年的时候，是非常难找到。你非常你要阅读很大量的这个呃新闻和其他的就是说这个网络的这种呃那个语言。那这个语言呢，它实际上是不是在字典里头可以找到？它是被过滤掉的，它是被这个文化的正确性被过滤掉，不是记载在字典里边的一种语言。它有点像俚语，然后它就是代表了一种，就是说它代表了一种流行文化。呃，非常有意思。这个流行文化呢，哈，就是嗯呃，揭示到就是女性对于这个整个社会的不断的介入和侵入，甚至于就是说，呃，她的职位不断的进来，呃，不断的在发展。呃，我觉得这个这个现象，就是说，尤其是在这二十年或者这三十年当中，是尤为显现的。所以，我们现在的这个这个流行的这个语言，它的呃发展，它是来来非常快。去也非常快，所以我大概收集了不到两千个这样的语言词汇。嗯呃，我我其实这个这个这个整个的这个呃词汇的表达，其实我有很多很多形式，但是我最喜欢的这个这个形式，其实就是这个 carpet， 就是整个的这样的形式。但你进入整个的这个展厅的时候，你必须是。呃，踏着它，呃，进入到这个展厅当中，呃，它凸起来的大概有呃七公分到八公分这么高的这个字体，让你走起来非常不舒服，但让你在这个玩的当中，让你在这个幽默的当中，呃，去慢慢慢慢的，你慢速度慢下来，停下脚步，然后逐渐走进去，你会仔细的在读它这个东西。Um, it took so it for this work. Um, it took uh, Kim Miao, Lin Tian Miao, five to six years to search and collect all of the vocabulary, the insult vocabulary. Um, of course now it's easier because you know you can find it on the internet in internet novels and um, but in the in the 90s and 2000s it was much harder to find, and um, it's interesting because these vocabulary they're filtered, you know, so they're not officially recorded in dictionary. Um, they represent um, kind of aspects of popular culture, and also women's intervention in society and their constantly changing role. Um, and also, like you know, these vernacular uh, they come and go very quickly. Um, and so she collected um, over two thousand words, and and th and there were actually she had thought of many different forms of you know presenting presenting them, but her favorite one is the is the carpet. Um, because you know, because you have to step and step on it and interact with it, um, and the words are kind of protruding above the surface by seven to eight inches. I'm not sure if that's right, um, but it's very uh, uncomfortable to walk through, um, and so you kind of really have to intimately engage and explore um, the work, uh, but with with humor. What's your favorite slang word for a woman, Tin Man? What's the what's the the best word found? Very many. You, for example, now, like just now, we're talking about this. Uh, build mother. Actually, every child's growth is caused by the parents' or the surrounding environment, the social pressure. Uh, who? No one. Any mother. Well, I don't have the courage to take my son to do a test and let him develop his face. I will definitely say that the average is about 50% is according to the social needs of the society or the social needs of the society to develop the child. This is called creating a mother. It is to make the child create the child, not to make the child develop its own nature. Uh, so this this will be one of her favorite words. The um, the characters that you're seeing on screen right now, Chizao Mutin, or like a, could you, uh, well, I'll, I guess I'll explain it. Um, so um, you know, like in uh, children's experiences are uh, oftentimes shaped by repression, uh, social repression, and as a as a mother herself, she's not brave enough to you know to just kind of uh, let her her child just do whatever they want. Um, and so, you know, it's like 50 to 60 percent, you know, she's uh, trying to um, give us some freedom, but then still conform to social conventions. And so this is what this word refers to. 
um, uh, in the, how the, chi the child is being produced by the mother, um, produced and controlled and disciplined, shaped. Like is that. it like Tiger Mother? Uh, yeah, yeah. Tiger Mother Tiger Mom. Uh, uh, Tiger Mother, uh, Tiger Mother, Mother, Tiger Mother, uh, 比如说,你男孩子摔了跤了以后,你站起来了以后,你说,你不许哭,你是男孩子。就是不断在提醒他,他自己的身份,不断的提醒他是你需要做什么。从母亲的教育的这个角度,就已经是被他被限制住了。Right, uh, so tiger mother in comparison is kind of more of a complete control and shaping of the child's uh, growth and nature. Um, this kind of production mother or uh, producing mother is kind of more um, kind of molding, like really consciously or subconsciously molding uh, different aspects of the child. So for example, their gender identity, you know, if um, a boy falls down, then a, a mother would, you know, um, remind them and starts crying. The mother would remind them, you know, you're a boy, you can't cry. So, you know, kind of reinforcing these uh, social conventions of gender. I want to go on to this, the rotation revolution. You did this in Japan on an island mm. um, where artists were invited to reinvigorate traditional structures with contemporary art mm. and you used from what i understand materials you found on the island plus as you see in this video um the rotate and they were all on motors that rotated some of what you see are bones that were silk wrapped um protruding like almost like tumors growing and interacting with like everyday elements like suitcases and teapots and rice pots. Um, and I love the play between the traditional objects and your contemporary touches. Um, why were you inspired to do this at this site? Did the site inspire you? Does the place inspire you? Mm. Mm. Oh. Tadiso 从这件作品开始就说慢慢慢慢的进入的首先呢就是到了这个岛上这个岛上其实这件房子已经大概四十年到五十年没有人使用了基本上要塌了它所有的地板都是临时定的然后他让我选择了五个四合院然后我就选择
uh, yeah, her ideas um, are constantly changing. And so this is kind of an uh, interest starting to develop an interest in uh, machinery and movement. And um, so this, this island was very unique. Um, and, uh, and so she was chosen uh, as an artist, she was invited to make work and were to select um, uh, one courtyard from like uh, five courtyards. And she chose this one. And, and all the objects um, in the work itself belonged um, to the household. And so the, um, the owner of the household actually came to the opening and, and he was uh, like 10, like over 10 years older than her. Um, he, he was so moved and, um, at seeing all these objects because he, uh, and cried because it, they evoked so, uh, so much memory for him. And um, yeah, so she, she went there and found um, so many household objects like all over the floor. And, um, and these included, these include uh, the owner's father's journal and medical records. So all of these things were incorporated into the installation. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, and it's just as though the island had been frozen in time for like 40 to 50 years. Mm. 然后他们实际上这个岛上这个岛比较大这个岛上基本上就是它的原住民只有百分之呃只有一百多个人全部都是七八十岁以上的老太太它是通过这些艺术的这个事件所以通过这个艺术三年展就我们叫艺术季吧
traditional life, I was actually very Chinese. You know, so for example, like um, the father's journal was written in uh, completely in traditional kanji or like tr Chinese characters, um, but the medical medical documents like reflect a shift in you know like the, the language that was being used to uh, document life, um, and you know like her idea of like the the addition of uh, colors, uh, different shapes, the ball shapes, the silk. Um, and then also adding rotation to it is, is her way of uh, re-injecting life um, back into this house and uh, invigorating it. I want to go on to the next body of work. If we might, this, my garden, which was at the Rockman Museum 2017 to 2018. Mm -hmm. And what you're looking at- In are, Shanghai. It was in, in Shanghai, museum. in Shanghai, yeah. a museum in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Rockman um, Museum. Yeah, Rockman. She created this in collaboration with the Shanghai Museum of Glass. And what you are looking at, and I think we could start the video, was, is tubes of glass that fluorescent colored liquid is being pumped through. This is called collective conscious. And literally it's a, about the fluids the, as a metaphor for the consciousness that interconnects us. Here, my garden, you can see how thrilling this could be. It took up the whole fourth story and climbed to the fifth story in height. And what was very interesting about this is that on the tubes were names of plants, first in Chinese, then in the Latin official language, and then back into English and the way we call it in English. So it's all about translation and mistranslation, but it also is a spectacular special effect to be witness to as the tubes fill up. Um, I really see this as a bridge to your new public art projects. This was quite a leap forward for you. Did you feel it that way? Hmm. Lynn T. Mount, did you feel like this was a major step forward, more where you want it to be going? Uh, oh, whoa, Did whoa, I say whoa. something stupid? No, 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 no. I think that you said that you did very well. Actually, sometimes, as an artist, you can see it very clearly. You can see it very clearly. It's in a very self-aware state. So sometimes, it needs to be critical, or it needs to be a critic, or it needs to be a critic, or it needs to be a critic. 呃，从外界的一种干预，这样的话能更更清清楚的看到自己，嗯，第三方的视角、嗯、是吧？就是用一个第三方，或者是更更，呃呃，不经意的，或者是专注的，或者是不经意，或者是专注的这样的干预，我觉得这样的呃非常的重要，嗯。呃、uh, ，she's just saying that， 呃、um, ，Barbara， that was a very good summary on your part。Um, as, as an artist, sometimes it's hard to see, uh, see themselves clearly. And so that's why we need uh, curators and critics um, you know, to offer their external perspective. Sometimes uh, it can be accidental. Sometimes it can be, yeah, like uh, it's really helpful. Hmm. Did, did you view this as a step forward when you made it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because this, 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 但是呢，就是说它的那个呃方向性更扩展了，或者是它的方向性更更更更大了，而不是在仅仅在一个角落或者一个一个一个一个区域里边了。嗯、um, ，So yes, she does feel like it's it's a, it's a huge step forward. Um, and for this work, uh, she put in a lot of effort. Um, and a big part of that was to escape the um kind of the uh feminist label that was slapped on her. Um, you know, particularly from the, I guess, the, the discourse of it. Um, the female identity, identity still exists, um, but the direction has been broadened a lot. Mm. 
，然后我觉得。嗯，对，然后我觉得这个呃，花园就是花园这个东西，都是呃，嗯、呃，每一个人、每一个文化，或者是每一个艺术家，或者是每一个人，就是有权有势的人，或者是一个呃厉害的阶级，他都会制造自己的花园。他这个花园是代表了他的一个文化的象征，他心中的文化的象征。这个是他，他经常是以真的材料去做一个仿造一个假的。就是以真为假，然后再以假，以再以这个以假在做真的这么一个过程，它是一个心中的一个表达。嗯嗯，呃、uh, ，so for she's just uh kind of expanding on the concept of gardens. So um for every for artists um and uh kind of uh from artists to uh powerful for those with power you know powerful classes. Um, gardens are very important um, in kind of uh, representing and uh, depicting what is important in in culture and and value. So um, oftentimes in gardens, you know, they're using real materials to simulate something else, and then um, those uh, the the simulation would then be used again to uh, be turned into something real. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. Yes, I I understand. There's an interplay between natural elements and artificial elements, and mm. also the notion of spectacle with stuff that's commonplace.、Mm -hmm. Like a garden seems so commonplace in a way, but then you can make it into this enormous spectacle. And also that most of the way we see gardens is not in a natural state, but in a cultivated state. So, it's really interesting to think what is natural when you look at a garden and you experience a garden.、Mm. Do you feel this is a move towards your public art projects, the new public art projects? 那个公共的文化项目。我觉得，我觉得就是，啊，这个这个这个项目是就是我的 gar， 我 my garden， 这个是从一个。呃，借借了一个公共的一个词汇，实际实际上是在在表达一个内心的一个一个东西。所以从这个这些作品的逐渐就是积累的作品，我更关注于就是把把把把观众带入进来的一个环境的这么一个一个互动性的一个一个反应。So the, I mean, this, the, this, so this work,、um, it borrows the word public、um, in order to express something that is internal and kind of an individual feeling.、Um, so she's more invested in kind of bringing the audience in and immersing them in an environment, and、um, yeah, and、uh, have them interact with it. Ah,、uh, 比如说前面有一个就是那个反反应，他那个是完全彻底需要，就是说，呃，嗯。需要就是说，呃，彻底的把这个观众来带入到我设定或者他自己设定的一个环境当中，他会有什么样的反应？而是离现实非常远，你知道吗？离离现现现实，这这个其实也是这件作品也是我未来的几个项目，呃，其实我都借喻了这个这个这个这个东西，让观众自我反应，呃，在在在一个密闭或者在一个我设置的一个环境里头了。他去思考他平时不不太思考的一些问题。呃、uh, ，反应是之前的一个作品是吧 ？Reaction, reaction, reaction. Okay, so she's talking about a a, a work in in this series, a、uh, reaction. Um,、uh, the the work kind of is very intentionally bringing the audience in. But then it's also kind of、um, it brings the audience into an environment that is limited by their own consciousness, like the audience's own、um, like limitations.、Um, so it's kind of like they're seeing themselves in it in a way.、Um, it's kind of like a closed-off circuit.、Um, but they,、uh, it's like you know, through this,、uh, she wants to、um, in in this very particular environment,、uh, she wants the audience to think about things that they no normally wouldn't think about. Yeah, what's really interesting is you've gone from work about the body to work that makes people move their bodies to interact with your artwork.
<laughs> okay, again, I said something only a critic could say. Yeah. Did you like that? Or you <laughs> or you like that? Okay, you can steal it from me. <laughs> 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 so why did you talk about this? Where is this going to be? And how did you get involved with this project? Uh,就是,其实刚才我还想回答你的那个问题,我觉得特很牛啊,就是这个,这个问题提的,就是说,呃,就是我,其实我们的body,就是说,呃,有,其实,呃,不仅仅是在我们这个身体的空间范围内,
Uh, you guys are so, so talk a little bit about public art in China, though, and the rise of public art. Who's paying for it? How does how does this work? 呃，这个项目呃，今天特别有意思，是在前几天，政府和和翁宁的公司正好签下合同来了，然后我们要全力 focus 在这个上面，什么，马上建就要开始了，但是肯定还有很多很多的变化，所以呢，翁宁他们现在这个项目可能是世界上最大的一个，就是非常嗯大的，就是聚集性的，就是呃很多很多的呃。世界的艺术家参与到这个的，这可能是最大的、最集中的一个项目。嗯、呃，这个项目呢，它主要是就是说，中国的政府他想把这个海南岛，呃，它变成一个世界的世贸区。然、呃、后这个这个我这个自贸区，自自就自由贸易，没有税的，没有税的这么一个地方。嗯哼，自贸是一个 free trade，free trade 的。嗯，对对对，所以他可能是想就是利用艺文化艺术的这个东西来，呃，嗯、呃，更让人呃觉得他的这个文化更 open， 然后他让他整个的整个的这个，呃，所有的这些东西更更接近接快速的接近世界的这个视角。嗯哼 ，So the um the uh. For this project,、um, it's interesting because she just found out. Well, they they've just signed、uh, contracts with the government, so she's、uh, working with with Wang Ling, who is a a, a really important curator.、Uh, and the the project,、um, so they have a project in Hainan,、uh, Haikou.、Uh, like, and the project is going to be one、uh, the one of the world's biggest public art project, probably like involving many renowned、uh, world world renowned artists. And、um, and so the at the ba base of it is that that the Chinese government wants to kind of transform Hainan into a free trade zone, and they kind of want to leverage、uh, culture and art as a way to kind of elevate it and and make it seem like they're very culturally open and、um, kind of very quickly、uh, turn it into an international、uh, zone. Hmm. See. <clears throat> 这件作品的主要是就是说，呃，它我设定了几个地方可以展出，一个是在海边，还有一个在森林里头，所以呢，它不是我们就是意义上的一个正常的一个展示空间，所以我就是把这个展示空间的可能性更放大，更，呃，嗯，更有意思。然后它也不是在一个旅游景点上面，就是它让人的这个呃人的心理。就是让作品，就是让人的这个心理更为接近于他自我的发现，又回到刚才呃巴巴说的那个那个问题上面了。Yeah, so um, uh, for this project, uh, they and、uh, kind of come up with several different scenarios for where it would be placed. Um, it could be by the sea or it could be in the forest. So um, all very unconventional sites. And so they really want to kind of broaden the the site where、um, the site of the exhibition、um, and, and those these places are not tourist sites either. And so like the the experience of them would be kind of、uh, kind of similar to the the experience of discovering the self, you know, encountering the self in these places. But Tin Mao, do you think the Chinese public is ready to encounter conceptual work in public spaces? 我觉得肯定是我们不能强求，我们不能强求每一个观众去真的是去了解，或者是我们的政府的官员去每个人去理解你百分之百的理解你的东西。比如说，呃，你在理解作品的时候和一般的观众是完全不一样的。我们不强求这个，但是我作为艺术家，我们一定要准备好，就是他他尽可能的挖掘你内心的活动和尽可能挖掘你这个东西的。呃，存在的可能性，嗯，有一个不断接触的这个过程。我我认为就是啊，中国的这个政府很多官员，很多有意思的东西，其实呃呃，现在是一个机会，是现在一种可能性，现在是一种呃教育他们，把他们拿进来，直接嫁接成，直接跟这个没有没有过程啊，直接就嫁接在这种碰撞，是非常有意义的一件事情。
Um, so uh, she's saying that, um, of course, we can't expect every visitor to fully understand everything that you're talking about um, as artists, uh, but as artists, uh, we must be ready um, to kind of, you know, uh, set up these, uh, these scenarios and experiences in, in to make it possible to exca excavate the inner self. Um, and so, and now is also an opportunity and an interesting time to like educate um, Chinese government officials, you know, kind of just directly exposing them to these, uh, to their ideas and, and projects. This is very interesting to me because about five years ago, someone from the Ministry of Culture came to a lecture I gave in China and he was head of public art for the Ministry of Culture. And the next day he called me up and he was like, you have to come here, we have to show you what real Chinese art is. And he showed me realistic statues of mm -hmm. heroes or famous people mm -hmm. that were becoming, that were huge and were becoming big tourist attractions in different parts of China. And I just think this is like a 360 change from that type of official that I met five years ago to what you're proposing to do. Do you think the Chinese government has changed? 我觉得就是说其实是中国非常大各个地区差异也非常大然后呢就是说我觉得就是说作为就是说像翁林这样的团队他们也很牛他们非常牛逼然后我觉得他们能说服这些领导然后把这些领导逐步逐步的就是说能
，然后呢，那很多很多就是说有有也就是想保留这些东西，但是保留它也要在一个程度上的去一个保留，怎么去保留？有的人见得特别难看，你知道，所以呢，这里边有很多很多的人在 involve 这些东西，不不仅仅是就是说，嗯，翁林一个人，啊、呃，特别多，他们有以前是跟政府合作的人。Mm-hmm. Um, so this is uh, uh, she's recently doing a project in Quanzhou, uh, Fujian, and uh, that has been going on for five years. Um, and you know, again, a lot of the work involves uh, educating um and convincing local officials, and sometimes、mm-hmm. they would they would even be doing it out of pocket, you know, to kind of really assist the project. And、um, so, like,、uh, Min Tianmiao has thousands of photos like like this one, and it's such a shame because a lot of these old buildings and architecture are about to disappear, and so、um, a lot of people are kind of involved in this、um, effort to protect and preserve it.、Um, uh, it's just、uh, crazy the speed at which you know these、uh, monuments and、um, and culture cultural artifacts are being destroyed. And so, you know, how to really、uh, preserve it is the question. And because some sometimes the rebuilding,、uh, some of the rebuilding、uh, results are can be quite ugly.、Um, so it's a difficult process. Hmm. Ah, I now just going to talk about this process. Is that it's in Quanzhou. Quanzhou is China for thousands of years. It's just that it's China's border with the Northern Sea. 海上丝绸之路的起点，它是对外交交交往的一个起点，所以它那一直很富有。然后它也这它的那个建筑非常奇怪，又像又像西方，又像中国。啊，它所有的就是说，它基本上四分之一的这个家庭都和海外有关系。就是呃，比如说他们要要做一个艺术项目，要打一百多个电话到不同的国家。呃，这个就等于说他们。这个全球化非常厉害，就是他们历代以来这个地方就是输出文化和进来文化的这么一个地方。嗯。So Ben, before you translate, I just want to urge people. We've got ten minutes,、um, you know, more for this this、uh, program. So if you have questions, please type them in the、uh, chat box or in the Q and A,、um, the Q and A box, I guess. And we'll hopefully have time for maybe you know two questions or so. But go ahead, Ben. You can translate. Um, so she just briefly talked about Quanzhou,、uh, the city of Quanzhou.、Uh, it's very, it's a very renowned,、um, uh, very renowned for it's like thousands of years of history, and it was the、uh, the starting point for like the naval Silk Road or Silk Road like、uh, by way of the sea,、um, and so、um, it's、uh, very connected to、um, other places, and so the architecture is very like eclectic. There's like Western, both Western and Chinese influences, and like one fourth of the population have relations who are overseas. <coughs> you know? So it's kind of this very、um, globalized uh, uh, population that goes back generations. 所以呢，它这个地方特别有意思。泉州是一个大城市，然后我们又看到它这个永明的这个城市，就是这是一个古城。这个古城呢，它慢慢会那个那什么，呃呃，艺艺术家的有一个艺术家的项目，他会让这个古城的围墙是空出来，而不是重建，是空出来。然后在这个空出来的这些地方，就要做很多很多的不同项目的一些博小博物馆。Let's um let's uh open it up to a couple questions um if we could before we um uh before we finish tonight. Okay, so we do have a question from Nancy Vincent who is asking you to explain a little bit more clearly who or what is F blooding the the Hainan project that you, where you have the liquid in front of the beach and the English name was F blooding Hongshui. What, what does that mean? What, yeah, what, what is, does that name mean? 洪水，洪水用中文来讲，红是代表红颜色， uh-huh. 嗯，它有一种政治上的象征。然后我借用了这个红，但是呢，这个我们说的这个 flooding，flooding flooding 在中国的这个里头，它和这个红颜色的红是同音的，所以我把这个洪水，嗯，代表一个政治。政治就是像像像 red water 一样，就是说，他又把一个政治和文化的象征带到这个整个你的这个这个作品当中。这个当你进入到这个里边的时候，那个洪水在翻滚
，它是在翻滚，所以它像它像它它它像洪水，就是无法阻挡的那种感觉，就在你身边，在一个在一个封闭的。呃，相对封闭、封相对呃隔离的一个玻璃的环境里边的迷宫当中。Annie, can you go ahead and translate that? Yes, yes.、Okay. Yeah. So the um the word, of course, the 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 Chinese word for the title is 洪水 and then the、uh, 洪 is the word red, and so you know it has you know, political、uh, connotations in in Chinese. And、um, the the Chinese word for the word flooding、uh, is the same as the word red. So、um, it's kind of like bringing the bringing in、uh, political and cultural symbolism to、uh, the the experience、um, the experience of the work. And so you know、uh, the the water itself, like the red water, is tumbling and、uh, unable to be stopped. And you know that's kind of her imagination of what the experience would be. And and this is like taking place in a very sterile、um, glass container. Yeah.、Um, I see. There's another question, which is、um, Hong Zhong Han has is asking Lin Hia Miao. You've talked about、um, the challenge of being a、uh, described as a feminist artist, and it felt okay at the beginning for you. But then, but now it's kind of become a barrier. It's 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 it became、um, unhelpful to you. How do you cope with that? And and how do you navigate within that this very politically correct world? Uh, I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I 在改变的一个状态，就是你要适应整个的这个文化在变迁的这么一个状态，这是这是第一点。嗯，你不能就是仅仅是在一个就是只解决自身的自身，或者只解决你女性的这样一个角角度，呃，来来来来来释放你自己的作品。而我我觉得这更应该是更大的一个视角，呃，更大的一个站在一个呃跟。呃嗯，男性艺术家一个平等的一个视角去来来展示自己，这样的话，在你内心是一个平等的，你才有更大的视野和更更呃更平的这个这个这个这个这个这个角度去去讨论同样或者是更尖锐的话题。OK， 呃、uh, ，So as an artist， 嗯、um, ，Yeah，So she's saying as an artist you have to be Uh, you have to embrace change all the time, and、uh, and and you also have to get used to cultural shifts as they're happening. And you can't only be dealing with individual issues.、Um, it should be kind of、uh, you know you should be taking a, a broader perspective.、Um, and so you know that puts you on the same level as male artists. And if you you yourself see yourself as equals,、um, as equal to you know. Men, then you have access to the same subject matters that they're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? Sadly, I think to, to go ahead, but I, I think sadly we're we're really out of time, out of time. But、um, Barbara, I don't know if you wanted to, you know, ask one final question or if you have any final thoughts. I just want to say that I have always been amazed by the way that Lin Ti Mao can explain her vision, whether it's to curators. Or to the people she works with, and her assistants, or to politician, to get her projects done. You know, none of this is as simple as painting a painting in a studio by yourself. And she is a commander. You know, she is a force of nature. She is a commander, and so I think that's important to know about her when we look at this this work. Well, it's amazing stuff. This conceptual work is amazing, and I have to also give a shout out to Bangi, our translator tonight, because this is complicated stuff. This is not yeah, it's complicated. Stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Bangi. Awesome, awesome job,、uh, Lin Tianyao. <laughs> you're brilliant. You're really brilliant. Please, 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 come, please come back. Okay. 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 Thank you for joining us so much. Thank you, Bangi. 谢谢你们。